Well, by golly, folks, how you doing? This is Pappy Two Bears. I'm back out in that spot that we looked at you know, a couple, two or three weeks ago and probing it a little bit deeper. A great day to break in a new poking stick that I was anxious to come out here and take a look to see what's happening. I thought I'd probe a little bit deeper today and see some of the other things that uh, this place might hold for us. I already uncovered one thing that I thought was kind of interesting. Now we're going to walk along and see if we can take a look at that. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Last time I thought I found a spot that might be a good little hidey hole for something to watch over the backyard of where children play. We're in this old uh, camping area here, this old uh, encampment that used to be the nudist colony years ago. And as I was coming down the trail, I happened to come across something that I thought was interesting. It made me scratch my head a little bit, and I want to talk to you about it. Try to get away from the sun, sunlight here. You can see there's a maple tree. Oh, it looks like it's about three to four inches around diameter. What's interesting though is that. That has been twisted. And of course it isn't, it isn't uh, recent. But what's interesting about it I didn't think too much about it because there's a lot of these out here that are, that are storm damaged because of the dead trees that are falling. And at first glance, you'd say, okay, yep, that pine tree right there fell over and took it down. Except there's a problem with that. The pine tree is underneath it. This is over top of it. And it's pointing right down to where the trail goes. What's interesting about this is that this is probably less than 60 or 70 yards up the trail from where I saw the last interesting stuff and got what I thought was a possible footprint. Right across the trail from this, There is a nice, big granite outcropping that comes up out of the ground. And this trail wraps right around this outcropping, so it's a nice high spot. Now you'll see some other things that appear to be arches there, but uh, you know, as you look down there, you can see that there's a huge uh, oak tree that has fallen down there. That's what took those things down. pretty quiet out here today and it is a beautiful day it's probably oh 53 54 degrees no uh, breeze to speak of just a, a beautiful almost spring day here Try not to bounce this around too much for you. I know how that is when I watch other people's videos and it's bouncing around quite a bit. What we're coming up on here now uh, is towards the, the end of the area that used to have um, the camp years and years and years ago. It's just so thick and dense in here. It's just difficult to see through. I've, I've had uh, and heard no movement or anything since I've been here. 
Not that my old hearing would pick it up anyways for the way my ears squeal from all the years of noise abuse. But if you can catch the glimmer through the woods there, this used to be the old swimming hole. And we'll get up here and take a little closer look at this. I think it's pretty well getting on to the season now where the activity is going to be starting to pick up quite a bit. I know that uh, it has been uh, back in my original home in northern New York it has been picking up even though they've got a lot of snow still on the ground up there. I hope the sun glare isn't too bad here folks. Let's go through the little tick holders here. I've sprayed myself pretty good by the way. And here's the old swimming hole. Pretty good size place. And that tells me that there's a nice water source. And I'm sure that just fills up with frogs and perhaps even fish in there. still be a great place to camp back in here if they'd let us. Now as I said this is now part of the uh, the state forest land and probably for quite a few acres in that direction there is just like you see it right here. It's a combination of uh, hardwoods and pine and a lot of briars. There's just saw briars everywhere in here. This little trail is coming right around on the back side of those um, granite outcroppings that I mentioned to you before and you'll get a better uh, different shot of it here I already poked around over there quite a bit no uh, no hidey hole caves over there that I could see. And it looks like there's been a few people out here that's uh, thought that was a great party spot though. If the uh, the old uh, bottle that you see glinting in the sun over there is any indication. Well, as you can see that up at the top there that big oak, dead oak tree just fell right over the top and broke right over the top of it. And there's lots and lots of those out here. Um, the uh, caterpillars, when they came through here, they just decimated these hardwoods year after year. And boy, it killed off an awful lot of these trees. So there's a lot of dead stuff in here that is slowly making its way to the ground. Well, I'm going to poke around here some more. And if I happen to see anything that I find interesting, I'll take a picture or so of it. I might even fire the camera back up if it's interesting enough. I'm hoping you folks have a great day, and we'll catch you on the next one.